Hey everyone, uh, we're back here working on the 96 with the 6.5 in it. Uh, we're going to change the oil on it today. Going to put some 1540 in it. And then we're going to put some of this Lucas oil stabilizer in it also. Uh, our first step here is to jack up the truck so I can slide under underneath of it. So now that we got the truck jacked up here, I'm going to break, lo break loose the, the drain plug and then hopefully not spill anything, but we'll see how this goes. It is still pretty hot. I just got done driving the truck, so we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that might be a different size. Oh, that was like not tight at all. <laughs> I barely smacked that. But yeah, like I say, this is pretty hot yet, so. I'm trying to spill too much. Oh, missed a little bit. it doesn't look too terrible coming out of there. Just trying to make sure my oil pan doesn't overfill because there was still some oil left in it from the last time. So while that's uh, finishing dripping there, I'm gonna take off this uh, oil filter. It looks like it's a Wix filter, so that's pretty good. But I'm gonna put this cheapo micro guard oil filter in there because it was literally only eight bucks. So I wasn't trying to spend 30 bucks on an oil filter, so. <laughs> and I seem to have lost my oil filter wrench so I'm going to try to put this channel locks on it hopefully not crush the filter oh yeah it's coming right off <laughs> I am crushing it though a little bit Let's see if I can get my mitt in there put my glove on because it's so hot yet Coming, but still a little too tight. Oh, yeah. drip for a little bit Doesn't seem to be that bad, actually. Let's see if my gasket came with it. Yeah, it came with my oil filter. You want to always make sure that your gasket comes with your your filter you're taking off. Otherwise, you're gonna put a either you're not gonna have any gasket 
or you're going to have a double gasket and it's going to leak every time. So you always got to make sure that your oil, or doesn't have to be an oil filter, but make sure your, your filter comes off with the gasket. So I'm going to do this anyway, even though most people don't recommend doing this, is to pre-fill filters. Uh, yeah, people don't like doing this, but I, I like doing it. Then you have to run your engine without oil being in it. Or for that long anyway. And... This filter is pretty nice on this motor because it's facing straight up on like, say like a 350, it's like sideways, so you can't really pre-fill it. Well, it looks like it went down some more. We'll add a bit more. Nice, overfilled it. <laughs> eh, not too bad. Hopefully now this will, yeah, it looks like it's done dripping for the most part. It's still dripping, but you can't wait forever for these things to completely empty out. Who's got time for that? All right, time to put the new filter on it. <laughs> Spill a little bit, that's all right. Good, looks like I got the right one. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it was the right one or not. Now you don't have to go and crank these stupid filters on. I I fight with this stuff too much at work and stuff, but you just gotta get it snug, right? You don't have to go crazy. One you know, one hand tight, you know. Don't need to go Hercules on that stuff and make it a challenge for the next guy take it off that's just no fun I just picked up these wrenches from Harbor Freight they're uh, extended wrenches this set was like 25 bucks I think it goes from like 10 to 24 i believe actually but it skips a couple in there i believe i think it skips like an 18 for sure might skip another one in there too but i'm not exactly sure but for 25 bucks i don't think a guy could beat that especially especially now how prices are for everything else but got that tight so now we just got to add our oil up top but got the filter in Got the plug on. Uh, like I said previously, I'm not exactly sure how much oil goes in this, but uh, I do know my for my first quart's going to be this Lucas. I have thrown in a couple other vehicles. I don't know if it helps or not, but I don't know. It just makes you kind of feel better if you throw it in there, even though it is like maple syrup. If you squeeze it, it goes out pretty quickly. Next, we'll start putting some of this 1540 in there. I think I'm getting uh, pretty close here on how much oil I need, so I'm going to check on the dipstick here. Closer are. Um, kind of hard to tell, but I think we're a bit over full. A little bit. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll, it'll be all right, but <laughs> I think we're a little over full. Put the dead stick back in. Uh, let's take this funnel out. Uh, 
All right, let's see if we get some oil pressure here. Wait for the glow plugs to go. Start it up. Jeez, that was, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was gonna pop up there. Uh, oh dang, that's actually pretty good. Before, it was getting like 20 idling, but geez, we we're almost to 40. I had like 38, 35, somewhere around there. Yeah, pretty good.